Hello. So this is about my 70th attempt on this video. So if you guys don't receive a video from me, it just means that I have officially given up, um, which I really hope I don't have to. But anyways, my name is Diana Soto. Um, I am 24 years old. I was born in Aguascalientes, Mexico, uh, across the border when I was eight months old and have called Denver, Colorado my home ever since. Um, I was raised in the Sheridan School District from the age of three all the way to high school and graduated with my class in 2014. Then I proceeded to go to college at Metropolitan State University. Uh, so the reason for this video is Jesse reached out to some of us and asked for a video maybe for some words of compassion and wisdom and um, advice for the class of 2020 through one, this whole pandemic, and then two, through life. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because I thought that my story was just a tad bit different and that I have been able to overcome certain obstacles that have really actually caused um, some issues in me finishing school. So a little about myself is I um, have attempted to go to college for the third time. I have yet to get my bachelor's. Um, I am a double major in women's studies and in pre-nursing. And the reason I had dropped out of college was because I ended up getting pregnant um, at the age of 20. And then again at the age of 22 um, with my two dope ass toddler boys, um, Damien who is three and a half and Ivan who is one and a half. Um, I was a DACA recipient um, up until the age of 20 which then I ended up getting my conditional residence and then I am now currently trying to get my permanent residence. Um, being a DACA recipient allowed me to be a normal teenager. Um, I was able to get a license, I was able to get a job, and I was also able to apply for advanced parole, which allowed me to see Mexico for the first time in my life. And it also allowed me to have a, what is called a lawful entry into the United States, which helped me then with my conditional and permanent residence. Um, so throughout the fact that I had dropped out, um, I was constantly bat battling um, a lot of demons uh, within myself. Um, a lot of myself was just basically doubting if I was even good enough for school um, because I would do really well in the classes that I did like, but I wasn't able to pass classes that I had to do as prereqs, um, which ended up making me feel, one, like a failure, and then two, just really crappy in general, just thinking that, hey, like maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Um, and it took me a while, but I ended up having a really good friend recently tell me, um, hey, like I know you're gonna finish school because I know how much it bothers you that you haven't. And so for the first time in my eyes, in my life, I had opened my eyes and realized like, hey, like he might be right, you know, like, it bugs me that much, I have to finish school. Um, so shout out to him for really honestly opening my eyes to that. Um, I am in hopes of becoming a midwife at some point in my life and would really like to work at like labor and delivery unit or a mom and baby unit um, as a nurse. In the meantime, um, I worked at an OBGYN office for an amazing doctor um, and the doctor that I was paired for was absolutely incredible and she taught me a lot more than I would have ever hoped to know um, because she knew that this is the field that I wanted to be in. Um, since I had decided to go back to school, I seeked a nighttime job and was able to get a job at a lab um, that has allowed me to be able to go to school and be a full-time mom and have financial stability for me and my boys um, and just live a comfortable life uh, here in Colorado. And it may not be exactly where I want to be. Um, 
for the next five years, but it is somewhere where I'm really happy and comfortable and hope that I can finish school and actually work towards a career that I want to work towards getting. Um, anyways, so for my advice is the class of 2020 is a force to be reckoned with. You guys are honestly the light of many people's lives. Um, you guys came in after a really dark time, which was 9-11. Um, and now this is happening and I know it's not fair to you guys as, um, students because you or as seniors really because you guys are going to be missing out on prom and graduation um but really you guys have your whole life ahead of you and you guys are just going to kick butt um some of you guys may be able to vote this year um some of you guys may barely just tr be trying to get your life fi figured out um i'm 24 and have yet to still fully figure mine out but um at the end of the day just remember that you guys are gonna do absolutely amazing things and this is just kind of an obstacle that has been set for you guys and like i said it's not fair but you guys will overcome anything um, I have two younger brothers. One graduated last year. The other one graduates this next year. Um, and I could only imagine how devastated I would have been for them if they were graduating this year. So please just remember that it's not the end of it. It's not the end of life. And I guess for other stuff is, you know, if you end up doing stuff backwards like me, eventually you will figure it out and it's totally okay and don't compare yourself to other people because at the end of the day it's only hurting yourself um i compared myself for way too long and it really took a toll on me and once again at the age of 24 i am finally finally trying to get where i'm supposed to be so if anybody ever needs to talk i'm more than happy to listen um I don't know how much my advice will do for any of you, but I can try. Um, you guys can always add me on Facebook. My name is Diana, last name is Soto, D-I-A-N-A-S-O-T-O. -A um, or you can send me a message on IG. Um, it's hey Diana, hey, um, regular hey Diana, and then hey with three Ys. Um, Seriously, congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys are a force to be reckoned with.